Hello there YouTubers. This is uh, what I told you I was going to show you on this nutcracker I got. Pretty neat, pretty neat nutcracker. This is not a sponsored video. They didn't give this to me. I bought it. I think it, I think it cost me $195. I don't know. You can go find out what it, what it cost. They're on, uh, this is the brochure that came with it. Um, manual and safety instructions. Hmm. That's the guy. He, he personally put his name in there. I, th I think that's pretty. I can't see that. Daggone. Doesn't show, but doesn't show on the um, camera. There it is. Um, personally wrote that in there. So I think I think that was pretty nice. I think I think it came out of Canada. I'm not not real sure. I don't know if there's. You can go and like I said, you can go on the internet and look it up and see all the con different configurations it does and how it does what and how it does how it does different things and do it this way this way it came with a couple little wrenches and it's got all sorts of instructions for changing this around and changing that around and it's quite detailed piece of machinery um, and that's I guess here they're they're showing clamp it to a table I'm not clamping it I'm not clamping it to the table because the you, you should probably do this outside because these nuts when they here they show the the anvil coming right down on it I, I didn't find that to be the best way uh, but that might be I don't know I think that might be an almond I don't know it cracks any kind of nuts you can put in there um, but I'm cracking remember back in the fall I did a video or two of washing black walnuts well I'm gonna take you off the stand for a minute um, I'll show you this is this is what the black walnuts came out of. remember I was cleaning my black the black walnuts in the cement mixer and that's what they looked like and so I, I didn't know what I was going to do I was trying to order that that nutcracker then but I think they were sold out because I think that was black walnut season but so I have this whole bag that's uh, uh let's see that was for peanuts and it held 50 pounds of peanuts. I know those black walnuts. It's everything I can do to pick that bag up. It's probably 80 pounds Because um, it, it maxes me out So I have a whole Big bag of black walnuts and uh, That's what we're gonna be cracking I'm gonna show you how to do that and then maybe walk around chew up some other stuff I don't know exactly the best place to put you on the on the tripod to watch this and it cracks them, but now, mind you, I have it on a soft cloth, so it's gonna that's gonna take up some of the impact, um, and it's not held down uh, permanently. The only the only thing that I could say is you might want to think about, like I said, doing it outside. I can't get the counter here, and the the stuff is. Let's see, we will move it that way. I, I guess that's about as good. So anyhow, here's that. Here's the one little anvil here, the little pointy thing. I don't know if you can see it in the video. And it, these things all change out and do all sorts of stuff. You really ought to go, if you're interested in it, go to uh, YouTube. And this gentleman's got a, uh, a um, video on this thing. Uh, there might be more than one. It's got little serrated things here so the nuts don't come out. Now, you can put, a lot of people are putting the nuts in like that and cracking down. These are black walnuts. I found it better to lay them down that way and I get more... And I lay it so it can't go out that way, but I'm telling you guys, you better get a towel to put over these. These things explode. But you can get access to a lot of the a lot of the big meats that way. See this big piece coming out that way? Now I like black walnuts. And because I picked them all up, it's kind of like a, a tree that I pull out of the woods. If I pull a tree out of the woods, I'm gonna use it. So Anyhow, we're going to just crack a few black walnuts and then uh, put all the junk in a, a jar and pick it. I'm sure there's a million of them out there that are faster. And maybe some that do a better job. Some that don't do as, as good, I, I don't know. And some of them you might have to re-crack a bit. But I, I do a whole pile of them. There went one out that way. They, they shoot like rockets, man. You gotta have a towel. You gotta have a towel over them. 
and they're not too hard to pull it's not too hard to pull down you can probably adjust it to have a, a better easier pull down because if you move it in closer look at all the adjustments in this thing it's just an astronomical amount now that one's that one had some oomph to it <clears throat> um, uh, it just most of them it doesn't take a whole lot of strength to push them down I guess a, <clears throat> a kid could do it if you wanted to there went one shooting yeah you better uh, even with a towel on it they, they explode pretty good but that kind of holds it all, all in there and um, when I go picking these I don't pick the real down, the real small fines. I just get the big pieces. I don't really care. I'm just having fun more than anything. Just I might even put a hydraulic cylinder on and make it a hydraulic one. Actually, I did have a hydraulic one. If, if you guys recall my can crusher and can cruncher, I was splitting some of these in the can cruncher, but it, you couldn't control the mess. In other words, you couldn't keep it all in one place. There's a big piece. And there's a lot of big pieces that come out of here and if you take a I don't know side cutters you can get a lot more but you better be better be ready there's gonna be stuff everywhere that's why you might want to do it outside but when these when I crack it that way it leaves quite a bit of access for uh, getting in there and getting the stuff out And there's big pieces everywhere. There's one. There's one. I'll tell you what, you're not going to get fat on black walnuts. You'd have to be a squirrel with real sharp teeth. But if you just go through, pick up the big pieces, then it starts to get quite a bit. And they're pretty tasty. I think they're, I think they taste about the same as a English walnut, just a little bit stronger maybe. No way there was one in there that was real sweet in that pile. Oh, stuff went everywhere. Like I said, and here's a big piece. There's a big piece. There's a big piece. <coughs> of course, now I have a piece of nut stuck in my throat. So get yourself a nutcracker. Might have to make a cake today. It busts them up pretty quick. That one had a little bit of toughness to it. Now, you've seen that work. And then you get a, uh, you start getting a big pile of shells. I'm going to take the fines out of here. I'm going to run them through a Shifter, I want these pieces here for another project, which I'll keep you guys in suspense for that because that might not come a, come about till summertime. But I want to save all those pieces. But when you're looking down here, you can you can see a lot of the. Maybe I can zoom in a little bit better. Piece there, piece there, piece there, piece there. But. I found that about the best way to open them up so there's a lot of meat showing and you have to dig them out. I found uh, kind of crazy but scissors kind of have a sharp edge on both sides and the, and the stuff comes out better with scissors than the regular nut pick. I mean we got regular nut picks. So today was a snowy day I might be doing black walnuts today. That one just about got all the way out, didn't it? Well, 
You're never going to get fat on black walnuts, I don't think. I think it's supposed to be pretty good for you, too. Anyhow, that's it for this one. I'll show you a couple other things while we're down here in the basement. I got that, um, there's a metal detector that I, uh, checked the logs with. That's what we found all that stuff out in the front yard with. I think I put that video on. That's the old metal stamping machine. There's a, um, the wagon wheels for my cannon. Big old Toledo lollipop scale. This is an interesting picture that I found on uh, eBay. That's a Frick sawmill. And it's got a... Oh man, I can't think what the... I can't think what the set works is called. It's got the set works in the back, so the setter is in the back and stands on that platform. And I think that's a number one mill. I'm pretty sure that's a number one mill. And it was, this came from Baltimore City Water Works, Baltimore, Maryland, number one sawmill from the right side is August 1952. The mill set up the Lock Raven Dam, cutting off the cutting, cuttings off the watershed. So I thought that was a real neat pitch. I found that, I got that on eBay. And then here's another, just a Frick Sawmill ads. I think. I think this is kind of one of my favorite. I really like that. So that's kind of a nutcracker and show and tell. This machine here, have you ever you've seen me make these these strips before? So did in old videos. If you haven't if you haven't paid any attention to any of the older videos, sometimes it's a good thing to go hit and find some of the old videos because some of those you might find very interesting this is the thing we made down at Jeff's last week or two weeks ago went to a uh, rehoming store 38 solid brass knobs look can you see that price it's upside down we'll turn it around maybe that'll help you five dollars I couldn't pass that up um, that was too good to buy what else is going on I had to buy some fish lures for my wind spinners out front. The wind's been so hard lately that it's uh, blew them apart. Anyhow, we're going to call that a wrap for today. So if you're interested in nutcracker or thinking about getting a black walnut cracker, you might want to be interested in one of these. So <clears throat> hit me the thumbs up and like button and all that kind of stuff and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.